But no, that's not good enough. That's not good enough for my daughter. There's got to be something we can do besides wait and pray. Adam, Adam, you have to trust Joe that he knows what he's doing. He, he does. And Haley's like you. She's a fighter. She's going to make it. Can you promise me that? I wish I could. More than anything. Adam. If you're ready, I'll take you in to see Haley now. I'll have to ask you to wait out here, Liza. Why? She's family. I know, but it's, it's logistical. We're tight on space in the ER. Go with Joe. I'll wait here. She's asleep. Haley? Haley, honey, it's your dad. Open your eyes. Come on, open your eyes and look at me. Please, Haley. Please. You bumped your head recently? Yeah, how'd you know? See? Uh, how did you do that? I told you, I was in Adam's passageway. Oh, I must have passed out. What are you doing? Wait, stop I... it. One minute, you know, I'm there, I pass out, black out. Next thing I know, she's there watching over me. All of a sudden, she's gone, and Adam's there. What, did you go to the hospital? What for? What, what? Ted, you could have got a concussion. Joey, it's nothing. It's a bump on the head. Look, That's all. Look at my oh, finger. Go. Focus. What do you see? Hairy knuckle. Listen, doofus, I'm trying to help you out Yeah, here. I know. Just... Okay, I'm fine. Trust me. I'm, I'm, I'm terrific. I have a knee-jerk reaction to playing doctor with my little brother. Next thing you know, you'll be snapping on a pair of rubber gloves. It's bad <sighs> enough this woman is messing with I'm with just mind. concerned about you. Okay? okay? Be, all right? I'm fine. I promise you. Just a little frustrated. That's all. Ever since the night of Crystal Ball, I've been running around town chasing a ghost. Tired of it. This little game of hide and seek is over. Hmm. Well, they're holding on. Um, it's touch and go right I realize young Jake's suspension strikes close to home, but Joe, you can't stall the review board indefinitely. I understand that, Palmer, and I do appreciate the board's forbearance. But from a PR standpoint, it is absolutely imperative that we find a solution of the problem as soon as possible. Yes, yes, of course, absolutely. But if the board could be patient just a little bit longer. All right, Jim. See what I can do. Adam, has Haley regained consciousness? No. Adam, I, I'm very sorry to hear about Haley and Mateo. Has anybody notified Isabella Santos? Not that, not that I know of. I called earlier, but the line was busy. Gentlemen, if you'd excuse me. What are you doing here? Hovering like a vulture, gloating over my misfortune? You're a horse's ass, Adam. You always have been. But the sins of the father do not extend to Haley. I'm a father too, you know. My prayers go with you and your daughter. Well, if you excuse me, I'm going to send a car for Isabella. Why do things like this have to happen? Because right? <laughs> the question's better answered by theologians and philosophers. These poor kids are so young, their whole future's in front of them. Joe mentioned something about the possibility of brain damage. Well, I'm afraid that the possibility increases the longer that they stay unconscious. And what's your prognosis? Well, I've done everything I can to save them, but now I'm holding out for a miracle. David, I understand I owe you a huge debt of thanks. You located the second hyperbaric chamber for Haley. It was my privilege. Adam, I'm, I'm sorry. I wish that I had found your daughter sooner. You are the one who found my daughter. That's right. 
I called 911 and got Haley out of there as fast as I could. I just hope it's not a case of too little too late. No, yeah, nonsense. Thanks to you, my daughter's alive. She can fight this. Mrs. Chandler. Oh, how formal. Took it for granted we'd achieve first name status. I, on the other hand, never take anything for granted. I saw you this afternoon with uh, Adam. Any resemblance between you and a wife who was plotting to kill her husband was non-existent. Nothing less than a seamless performance would do. Liza Colby Chandler appearing as the estranged yet doting wife. Like all good method actors, I had to feel my husband's pain. You obviously missed your calling. Well, I summoned a sense of memory from my childhood. My pet gerbil died at eight. The rest was improv. You could have fooled me. I have to play it very smart, David. When Adam turns up on a slab, who wouldn't do for the wife to be rounded up with the usual suspects, now would it? What are you staring at? A black widow spider. But I can't help but wonder, are your claims really that deadly? Make no mistake, David. I want Adam gone. I loathe, hate, and despise Adam Chandler. Jake is and will always be the man that I want. Jake Martin? Doctor, would you please admit my daughter? She's obviously suffering from dementia. Later, when I confronted him about why he was here, he gave me some lame excuse. Mateo and Haley, half dead in an alley. Mateo and Haley, half dead in their bedroom. What does that spell, Brooke? Brooke, you know he's guilty as hell. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. Brooke hasn't checked in at the office? No, I tried her cell phone. Either she doesn't have it with her or she's not answering. Never have happened if you'd have stayed home with me. I know that's unreasonable. Wife's place is with her husband. But you are first, last, and always a Chandler. And you will fight the way I taught you to fight. Don't leave me now, sweetheart. I don't think I can bear it. Joe, come quick. Have you taken complete leave of your senses? Oh, Mother, please. You want Jake Martin and you hate Adam? Liza, you have tangoed down this fine line far too long to suddenly change partners now. Mother, you don't know what you're talking about. It's painfully clear to everyone that it's Adam you really want. Do not? Mother, butt out. Doctor, please, could you give her a tranquilizer or something? She's obviously hysterical. Excuse me. You have no right to interfere in my life. Stop it. I have every right to interfere. I stopped you from ruining your life with that young man before. Finally, you came to your senses and you dunked him. Well, yeah, that was the uh, biggest mistake I ever made. And Adam, you know, what, what does that get me? Well, what are you going to get going back to Jake again? He was a struggling intern then. Now he has no career and no future. Liza, please, this is a form of insanity. I'm inclined to agree. No. Bella? You said, you said,
said Matteo and Haley are here. I'm so sorry. I'm so Come, sit down. Joe. Joe, her eyes. Something's happening. I think she's waking up. on giving you more oxygen. That's right. We want to clean out the carbon monoxide from your blood. Yeah. Yes. Haley, 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 there was an accident in your apartment. It's okay. There was a problem with the furnace, and both you and Mateo got poisoned with carbon monoxide. But you're in a hyperbaric chamber, and it has a lot of fresh, clean air. You just have to try and breathe it in, okay? Just take some deep breaths. Come on, Haley. Don't worry, sweetheart. Sweetheart, they're doing everything they can for you. For both of you. You're gonna be fine. Fine. You just try to try to rest now, sweetheart. That's right. Listen to your father. It's a good idea for yes, you just to rest and breathe. Adam, it's a good idea for you too. Come on, Henry. It's okay. What? It's you okay. need to rest. No. Let us take it from here. Just breathe. No. Yeah. Joe, I don't. I, it's okay, Adam. I think the worst is over now with Haley. Huh? We don't want her worrying about you or about Matteo. So please Can't step be. outside the room now. You know, just try to take it easy. I'll get back to you as soon as she's up to seeing visitors, okay? All right. Haley? Haley, sweetheart? Hey. I love you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step outside for just, just a little while. You're gonna be fine. You're both gonna be fine. I'm gonna see to it. You have my promise. Okay? Okay, just calm down. Are they any changes? Haley's awake. Joe thinks she's going to make it. Uh, and and Mateo? Uh, Isabella, he's not uh, he's not conscious yet, but they think he's going to wake up any moment now. Palmer, thank you for sending a car for uh, Isabella. It's nothing, Adam. I'm I'm so glad that, that they're going to pull through. It's... Jim, thank you. You saved their lives. I, I don't know how to repay you. I don't know what to uh, say. It, it, it was nothing. I wish I could have gotten there sooner. I guess I owe you my gratitude too, Thomas. Adam, I'm I'm glad Haley's all right. May, may I go in now? Well, they asked me to leave. Uh, perhaps now is not the best time. I have to see my son. Excuse me. You heard from Brooke? Does she know? No, no, I doubt it. I'm afraid it falls to you. If I can track her down. All right, mother. You know the whole awful truth. I know the truth. You're still in love with Adam. Mother, I only let you know what I want you to know. If you would just shut your trap for a second, I'll explain it and then you'll understand. Well, I never. Mother, it does not apply to any aspect of your life, so just be quiet. So, what'd you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Bye-bye. 